Hey there everyone and welcome to Disney Golf. Today we are here at the golf course at Walt Disney World across from the uh, Polynesian, Grand Floridian and so on. The golf course here is about to change. Disney's Magnolia golf course is about to change. Actually, we're not gonna get it much longer. It's closing. So today, in today's video, we're walking through the whole course. We're gonna check it out together. I'm playing a full game. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully we make it through all 18, but nonetheless, we're gonna have a fun time. Let's do it. It all starts here on the driving range. See, I've got my clubs right here. I'm actually, uh, I don't know if I mentioned these before, I got these tailor-made M4s. They're kind of the old edition of the uh, tailor-made clubs, but they were on a special sale from, I can't remember which store it was. I think it was Golf Galaxy, I don't remember. But they were a special sale. And my driver was actually a, a used one too, but also an M4, and I love it. But it all starts here from the driving range. My understanding is the Magnolia driving range will not be closing, but that's just my understanding. You can actually see over there, they're already working on some of the construction projects. Now these T locations do change from time to time. As you can see around me, we're kind of further up now, but in the past we've been from back here, but you can see the dirt's kind of taken over. They need to, they need to work on that. So it will, uh, it'll grow the grass a bit more. So slowly but surely. But yeah, let's get it out to that Magnolia golf course. Give it a try one last time before it undergoes a bit of construction. Starting off here, T number one. We're playing the front nine, I found out, and then the front nine of Palm, apparently. So that's gonna be great. Look at this beautiful waterway. Let's see what it transforms into in the future. 184 to the pin. I'm not using hybrids, as you can see. Just kind of playing around on T number one and chunking a bunch, but it's still, that's totally in play. You get used to it as you go through. It's a beautiful course, the Magnolia. Not as open as some of the Lynx courses that you find, but it's a really, really nice one. Two traps on the side make this shot a little tricky. I'm going with the pitching wedge to try and get it up there at 118. Ah, okay. uh, we'll get there. Made it on the green, but check out some of the construction that's happening right over there. I believe that's part of Magnolia that we can't play right now. They're redoing that course. For the future. Okay, completed hole number one. You can see more construction right back there, all the way back there. Tough to see as we make our way to T number two. Not as much construction this way, but a beautiful hole. I'm telling you, all of Magnolia is beautiful. Wow. Uh, par four, I think it's par four, on, uh, this is putt four, so this is for bogey. So let's see if we can make this one happen here. I should note, vlogging and golfing, I'm gonna have to get used to that. Oh, it's a good read. It's a good read. Almost there. See, practice makes perfect. Here we are on T3. Very nice looking par three. Going a little short here, going for the nine in hopes that uh, we can make it, fingers crossed. It's every time I don't record it and it land, it landed on the fringe, the fringe of the green. I'm, I'm going for another birdie. I'm telling you, this is a good course. I apparently got some footage behind the scenes here. There we go. See, I'm telling you, that was impressive. I that love that. That was, I think, the best so far. That was a great shot. All right, your turn. Okay. You can clearly see right over there, a lot more of the construction happening right beyond our par three here. Going for that birdie shot in just a moment. If you can see, they're making progress. Now, originally when I heard about this, my understanding was they were closing it for the update to the Polynesian. Now I don't think that's the case. I think they're just updating Magnolia in total. So we'll see, I don't know. But uh, it's great to be playing it before it all changes. Next up, hole number four. Beautiful, super long, we're about 481 from the pin. Par, I believe, five. Gorgeous one. Not my greatest drive of all time, but that's okay. Just having fun and enjoying Magnolia one more time. Don't worry, it'll open again and it'll probably still be named Magnolia. But uh, it's just great to be out here, to be able to enjoy it. I saw some turkeys a minute ago. You know that wildlife loves this part of Florida. Get up there, go left. Sit. Oh, come on. Might be on the fringe, might be the bunker, but I love the shot. I loved it, went definitely at least 190. It went over for sure. Beautiful, beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, another birdie chance right here. It did indeed land where it landed much closer than I thought. It's on the green. A birdie chance on number four. Birdie chance ended up with a bogey. It happens, it does. It's part of golf. It's tough to read these greens sometimes, especially here in Florida. Let me tell you, this is a beautiful par five on uh, hole number four. Magnolia, really well kept greens, looks fantastic, and it's a very straight line, especially for more novice golfers. You're looking at one who uh, 
enjoy just kind of more of a casual game, but starting to keep score. Made it to number five, a par four. Beautiful one at that. You can see it's a little bit of a dog leg right over here. We're shooting from the whites today. And they've got us uh, right over here. We have the blues as well. And technically I think the blacks would be back there, but here's the blues, here's the whites. I've played from blues before as well, but whites today just for fun. And one of the things I've learned as a relatively new golfer, when you're out here, just having fun, relax, try not to remember every little thing. Just one or two things you wanna work on every time. Whether it be keeping your head down or whatever it is that helps you, just to slowly improve. And then over time, you get better and better. That one was off the toe just a bit, but it bounced back in, so we're good to play. Now the way I learned to play was that when you're on the cart path right here, and tell me if I'm wrong, you get relief from it like that. No closer to the hole, but uh, if you're over here, got my trusty five iron, which I don't have the three iron yet, but we'll get there. I'm gonna try and get this a little bit closer. Great sound, great impact. Not quite where I wanted it, but not in the sand trap either. So we take what we can get. Here on hole number six, you can very clearly see a Mickey sand trap over there. Love hole number six and the truly beautiful waterway we have all around us. Super quiet, super nice. We're making our way around Magnolia, but that is the iconic Mickey sand trap. Let's go and see if we can get over there on this par three. The tees they give you here at Walt Disney World, I love them. I reuse them all the time. They're made of this super durable plastic. Shout out to my friend, Dale, for telling me about this. I just keep reusing them. You get those tees from Disney. They give you three free ones every time you play. So you end up, you know, having to, uh, you know, some extra tees with you, which is fantastic, which I really, really appreciate. Uh, and, you know, a lot of golf clubs do that, and that's fantastic. Also in Florida, be wary of wildlife. There's tons of it here. And there are gators, not gonna deceive you. Gators all over the place. Speaking of wildlife, there's a deer right there watching us golf. Gotta love them. There's that uh, Mickey sand trap again. Beautiful, beautiful spot. Hole six, Magnolia. Now, when I say that gators are everywhere, it's just that's just Florida for you. I mean, there, that's that's what happens. You just gotta be vigilant. Don't uh, don't wander into the water. That's that's the rule. Don't bother them. They won't bother you. And if you have more questions about gators, I do recommend Gatorland. I still have an annual pass, and I love it. It's a great spot to kind of learn more about them. They're really great. Uh, not gators being great, but Gatorland is really great. Yet another birdie chance for me. There it is on the fringe. That's the one. We're in a par three. Remember, another opportunity for birdie. Ah, the short game that always gets me. Can we make this happen? Come on. Reading the greens, something I definitely have to learn. And here on, on the hole number six, it's even more difficult. On the fringe, putting from it for another birdie. See if we make this happen. A little too much power, but not a bad read. That's, uh, that's pretty good. Love part, love the hole number six though. Here we are, hole number seven. A little bit of a water hazard here. You gotta clear it, shouldn't be too, too tough. And the pin's right over there. You can actually see uh, six right over here. I'm gonna keep on going here. I don't wanna hold anybody up, but very, very beautiful spot. Now, you're asking yourself about golf balls. I am no expert on anything golf, so everything I say is just me learning, okay, in terms of golf. I've been using all sorts of different golf balls, usually less expensive ones since I'm losing quite a few of them for now. But I have heard about a lot of good ones. Sometimes I use like uh, recently reused ones from time to time when it's just uh, for fun. That shot, however, is one that I will definitely take. Made it over the water hazard, just in the green or in the uh, fairway. Beautiful shot. Kind of a stinger though, from the driver. A little high on the shoulders. Still enjoyed the shot and enjoy this beautiful green. This one is a real test of skill. See how it's like way down here? I'm gonna try and pitch it up there. It's tough to do, it really is. Takes a lot of practice. I'm slowly getting there. Got my pitching wedge, I'm gonna give it a try. I will happily take that shot. Feels really good. A little further than I would hope to. I want to scoop it a little bit more. Uh, it didn't bite quite as much as I was thinking it would either. But overall, getting better at chipping, slowly but surely. Here we are, number eight. Huge open area. Impossible to lose a ball, right? Don't underestimate my power. No, I'm just kidding. It's gonna be great. I'm looking forward to it. Let's make this drive. You know, some people are better with their drivers. Usually I'm better with my iron, but I'm working at it slowly, slowly but surely. We're getting there together. It's a good one. Not quite the lift that I wanted, still pulling back on my shoulder, but not bad. Now, speaking of wildlife, check out this guy right here, a little hawk. Right there, a falcon. I think he's a hawk, though. Hanging out on that post, just looking for his next meal. Oh, he heard me. Yes, with the pitching wedge. 
not quite what I wanted. It's a tough one. I kind of go back in the stance a little bit. I'm no pro, by the way, so don't don't copy what I'm doing because I'm not a pro. That was something I'm very happy about. As you can see, I popped it up and got it on the green. It does happen. I want to note for any new golfers out there, it took a lot of time for me to be able to do that, okay? I, I took it from kind of a downhill slope, popped it up and got it on the green over the sand. Yeah, that, it's not common for me, I'll be honest with you. So if you're struggling with it, frustrated, even been doing it for a long time, it can take a while. Just consistent practice on the one thing you want to change and then move on to the next thing. Okay, we're at hole number nine, but I want to show you something that I just saw real quick. That's an alligator he's going under. It's going back down. I already took my first shot on hole number nine here. Almost forgot to record it, but take a look at it. Beautiful hole number nine. It's car path only today. I think it's probably part of the construction. We'll, uh, a longer, longer one. I think this is a par, let me check par four on this one. But uh, still beauty. This next shot is 270 yards to the pin. Right over there, actually right by the uh, clubhouse. Remember, we're doing uh, Magnolia front nine and then Palm front nine. And the reason we're doing that is because of all the construction. But hopefully this uh, trusty five iron will get me pretty close. So remember how I was saying, uh, you know, gators on the course? So there's another one, a true alligator right here on Magnolia number nine. You gotta be careful. Something like that. Mom could be close by. I don't think so. He looks a little old. Looks like about a five-year-old. Mom could be close, he could be aggressive. It's that time of year, springtime. You gotta be real careful, all right? So be vigilant when playing, always vigilant. Now as part of the uh, closing celebration, we'll call it that, of Magnolia, we're actually playing the second half of Palm now. So you can only play the front nine of Magnolia and front nine of Palm. That's what we're playing right now. Um, I love Palm, I love it. I've, I, you know, we've done it before, it's fantastic. Uh, I'll, I'll show you a few clips here and there, but uh, really, really, this is a course that's amazing. Magnolia is amazing. These are, these are spectacular. I've tried a couple others outside of Disney golf, but I really love these. Hole number two of the Palm. I've donated several golf balls to that waterway right there, but you can see we go in this direction, kind of turn left. It's a toughie, but it's got a great view. I'm telling you, look at that poly right back there. A little bit of TTC parking. But yeah, really nice view and the weather is great. I'm telling you, warm breeze, but not super sunny at the moment. Thankfully, sun's going down. About to putt here on hole number five, I think. I've already lost track. It's kind of far to putt, but you can see next hole right over there, which I think is five or six, I, I don't know, somewhere in there. You can actually see more of the TTC. Some of the construction crews who are parked over there and the route to get to and from Grand Floridian right over here. Beautiful views on the palm. I think it's gonna be the last hole tonight, but you can see those turkeys are out and about as well. You can see those true, real Florida turkeys roving around looking for golf balls. Now this is one of the more difficult shots that I do. You go through the trees here. Two options, try and go above or try and go through. Uh, I'm gonna try and go through with a stinger, which means I'm leaning forward. I, I barely know what I'm talking about. Try and get through here. Wish me luck. That was a stinger and it went pretty much where I wanted. So it kind of hit the tree. So it kind of counts. I count that, I'm, I can play it. Second shot here on six, five. Great hole. Clarification, this is hole number five. So there you go. As hole five here is coming to a close, I think we're gonna close a little bit earlier. You can see this uh, overpass, which I haven't been able to really film that much because you'd have to be driving. I can now film in more detail. Right here, gonna be used for more Magic Kingdom kind of parking accessibility parking here a bit easier, but it hasn't really been worked on in a while. Even grass is growing on some of that sand there. Lots of grass here for this last putt of the night. And that will do it for golf tonight. Magnolia is an amazing course, and my understanding is they're just redoing it, updating it, and they're gonna re reopen it in the future. My hope is that we see some like championships happen right around here, because they used to have them a lot here in, uh, in Disney. You see like those trophies of you know champions in the past. I'd love to see like a real professional championship happen here. Uh, we saw a college championship the other day, which was pretty cool. But it would be it would be great to get like a real professional one back. And they have an updated Magnolia. I'm looking forward to that. Really fantastic day. If you enjoy the golf content, I want to hear from you right now in the comments. Thumbs up, golf emoji. You enjoyed it. Tell me you did in the comments. And if not, that's okay. We got other content coming. I love sharing it all with you and experiencing it together. Really appreciate you watching, being a part of it with me. It means a lot. A huge thanks to our patrons for making it all possible and suggesting all this wonderful content for us to do and see together. Until next time, have a magical day and see you real soon. Mm -hmm.